Well, 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 guys. A huge investigation has come out exposing Dan Wilton again with shocking allegations, exposing Prince William as well, and really detailing how aides were also involved and how Harry and Meghan were split from the royal family and why they decided to distance and take their places, why Harry decided to write this book Spare. Now it all makes sense to me. And yet at the heart of it is Dan Wooten. Am I surprised, guys? Am I surprised? Byline Times has found out that King Charles pushed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into commercial deals in the US by withdrawing 700,000 funding for a trial year in Canada over a royal cash for leak scandal sparked by none other than journalist Dan Wilson. The financial sanctions stem from a refusal to remove from legal papers the name of a Kensington Palace aide whose partner was receiving money from the newspaper The Sun, executive editor, allegedly for stories about Megxit and Prince Archie. It resulted in the collapse of the Sandringham Agreement struck under the late Queen in January 2020 to give Prince Harry and Meghan Markle an opportunity to escape the royal press rota in the UK and continue public service in North America. The full story will be revealed tomorrow, but here are the facts. Prince Harry and Meghan were forced out of the Sandringham Agreement to continue in public service from Canada when his father pulled the plug on funding. It followed news that a partner of a key aide to Prince William received £4,000 from the Sun, allegedly for stories about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when Wotton was executive editor. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now the question is, why was Prince William's aide giving those stories to the son with only a small sum of 4,000 on a monthly? I don't think Prince William was doing it because F Harry, he was doing it because D um, Dan Wooten has a lot of dirt on Prince William. And the only way to get Dan Wooten off his back, he needs to give him stories so that he can run them. It is a cold, cold world. Dan Wooten, you are an evil man. The payments came to light in anonymous whistleblower emails claiming to be from admin workers within the Murdoch newspaper publishing empire. They told how the payments had provoked panic at the Sun and claimed senior executives quietly brushed the matter under the carpet. The payments allegedly related to stories about Archie's nannying and godparent arrangements and Dan Woodson's January 2020 breaking story about so-called Megxit. The Metropolitan Police looked into the alleged leaking but could not go to a judge for a warrant. Two internal royal investigations followed, one involving Simon Case, who is today the embattled head of the civil service. The palace investigations cleared the aide after he denied being the source of the Archie and Megxit information and clearly lied and told Case that neither he nor his partner were friends with Wooten, although he admitted to knowing the journalist Wooten. Byline Times has also now uncovered new photographic evidence of Wooten, the aide, and the aide's partner at a lavish private birthday party Wooten threw for his close friends in a £1,675 a night hotel suite. But he claims I didn't know him, but you're in a hotel having a party with him. Prince Harry then sent formal letters before action detailing the claims about Wooten and the palace to News UK. Sir Clive Alderton, today's King Charles and Queen Camilla's right-hand man, put pressure on Harry to alter the legal papers. When the aide's name was not removed from the legal letters, the Sussexes were cut adrift financially and left unable to protect themselves despite having a security level equal to the monarch. The royal household had thought the threat of exposure would force Harry and Meghan to return to the UK, where their profile could be controlled by the king. But it drove a wedge instead through the royal family and set a train events leading to Prince Harry's book Spare, a string of highly profile commercial media deals and ongoing bad blood in the British monarchy all because of Dan Wooten trying to wedge his way into the family and gun for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle throughout continuously and the fact that Prince William's aide was helping and Prince William were both helping to give these stories to Dan Wooten so that he Dan Wooten can be off Prince William's back because he was the one who started that rumor about this affair you know that Prince William had whether it's true or not that's what he basically started and evidently the funding was cut you know, Harry didn't want to get the Prince William's um, aides names out of the legal papers. He wasn't listening because he wanted to go in for it and rightly so. Therefore, that drove a huge wedge. Funding was cut and they left the royal family. The Sandringham Agreement obviously fell all because of these stories about to come out rooted in Dan Woodson. Again, another cash for something scandal. If it's not catfishing and filming people without the consent and wanting it for cash, and then of course, you know, our wedding people, and then you also have this now as well. So this is a huge investigation by Byline Times that they're going to release in full tomorrow in their first 
actual physical paper, which I'm so happy that they are. But again, it goes to show you that Dan Morton was working hand in hand with Prince William, with his people to get stories of Meghan, of Harry, to try and get them away, introducing the Megxit as well and everything. It might not be a direct email between them two, but that's when Dan Morton was editor of this, of the particular, you know, the son at the moment. So it's a very stringent scandal that this is released again, more shocking allegations facing Dan Woodson, exposing the royal family as well, how they turned against Prince Harry and Meghan. And I know a lot of people despise Harry and Meghan for whatever reason, I honestly don't, but this obviously supports them because the funding was cut, his own brother's aides were selling him stories, he then obviously was trying to go, you know, for a legal aspect, and when he was told to cut out certain parts, which he resisted, he then was further driven away and given an entire wedge. All started with Dan Woodson and his mischievous little face trying to find these negative stories and evidently, my question now is why is Prince William and his people paying, um, accepting money for stories to Dan Woodson? Dan Woodson knows a lot on Prince William and he wants to get him off his back. And that is the only way by accepting it, keeping him calm at bay, giving him stories, keeping him fed, take the whatever money it was, because 4,000 a month is not a lot of money anyways. But evidently he accepted the money um, for the stories because that's all that the son wanted to give. They didn't want to give a lot. And that's what basically happens. So it goes to you how sad and wedged deep there is between ha William and Harry and how Dan Woodson is in the middle of all of this and clearly he is a huge ruckus. And it also goes to show you why articles have taken down information about Dan Woodson throughout, or took a while to report on the story because of the things, the stories, the videos, whatever you may have on people, go so far as to collecting stuff from the royal family. What does he have on the royal family, etc. for the fact that they're accepting payments for certain stories to get them off their back, it goes so dark, um, goes so dark and deep in. Therefore, he has control over people. He has all this ammunition. So maybe one day Dan Whitten will sing. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't think he expected to be fired for a misogyny tirade on GB News that resulted in 8,000 Ofcom reports, but clearly that definitely did. So yet again, he's been exposed, guys. Yet again, there's something about this man. The gag is he's not as big as Philip Schofield and Hugh Edwards. It's not going to cause a nationwide headline, but at the same time, he's lost nearly a million in salary. He's not only now thinking to move to Scotland, but moving back to New Zealand, doesn't really have much work either, trying to sell his house in unable to do so, wasting all his money on legal letters that are absolutely dumbfounded and will do nothing because the accusations against you seem to be true anyways. So what can you really do when it comes to legality outside of fear mongering with a lot of people and it's just not gonna work over here. So we'll just see what happens when you know this man does what he needs to do. Um, yet again, the byline times are coming with a thorough investigation and this was just a brief overview. It's gonna be revealed in detail tomorrow once it's released, but Yet again, I'm not surprised. And they've also said that more is coming. So what else has this man done? Because I'm really trying to find out. Wow. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It's one click, guys. I'm extremely tired. It's the fourth video I've done today. Please go and subscribe to the channel. It's one click. Comment down below. Put a thumbs up to the video. And I'll catch you guys soon.